So from the previous videos, looking at what uncertainty means um, and also taking a look at examples of uncertainties, we could see that uncertainties can be used in a variety of different ways, especially in a chemistry lab. Uncertainties could be added or subtracted. So when we're using, um, when we're measuring different materials, when we're gathering our ingredients um, to make a solution or to make a mixture, there's some addition and subtraction related to all the different equipments that we used and all the different uncertainties that we collected when we were measuring those materials. You could also use uncertainties when you're multiplying and dividing, and we'll take a look at that. Um, there's also uncertainties used in random and systematic errors. So looking at the uncertainty, how can we analyze this to see if random error dominates or to see if systematic error dominates? If you don't know what these two mean, I will go over that in the video as well. So make sure to see, make sure to click the link above. The uncertainties also tell us about accuracy and precision. So accuracy is very different from precise. So when something is accurate and when something is precise, they're two very different things. So uncertainties can also tell us whether this specific uh, calculation or this measurement that we took is more accurate or more precise. And that will also tell us a little bit and gives, give us an idea of the random and systematic errors involved. So make sure to click the links above for the different types of videos on uncertainty measurements and analysis.